Three teams from Grant County, four teams from Clark Range, two from Station Camp and Lincoln County, and one each from Rock Castle, Fort Campbell, Southwest Pulaski, Wayne County, and Madison Counties, showed up to show their stuff at the fourth annual Raider Rally in the Valley held this past weekend at Cove Lake State Park. It was sponsored by our very own Campbell County High School Junior ROTC program, and Colonel Salveson and Sergeant Tierney overseeing the operation. Cadets competed in map reading, first aid, rope bridge, cross country rescue, and strength and test. And believe you me, they everyone presented their own set of challenges, like the rope bridge in which teams had to build a rope bridge across the little old harmless creek. Well, that little creek was very cold, and they had to get those ropes high and tight. The cross-country rescue was especially tough as it tested not only your strength, but the strength of your team. The best times won. As we said, they challenged your mind as well with a 60-question first aid test along with map reading where four-person teams had to figure things out and also the strength test was no picnic. They ran carrying a log, pulling the tire, done push-ups, and you didn't get a break and you were timed at every event. Teams registered Friday afternoon, set up camps, and went at it early Saturday morning. They got the final results Sunday morning as everyone met at Command Central, but a lot of the teams competed and went back home as they were there just for the experience and not to keep score, but they wanted the competition, and they wanted their teams to be exposed to this. One commander told us they were there for the great competition as they didn't care about the score. He went on to say that this rally was one of the best, and that's why they show up every year. He told me they didn't go to some camps as they were nowhere near as tough as this one. Most commanders wanted to be tested, and that's exactly what they got at this camp this past weekend. Their cadets will go back home cold, wet, tired, aching, but they'll be better educated on the struggles and how to work things out as a team. This is David Graham reporting for WLAF.